So I'm in the command center at Scripps La Jolla, and we are working together with our other Scripps hospitals across the county to make sure that our staff have what they need in order to care for not only our COVID-19 patients, but also our other patients that we need to take care of, such as those having heart attacks or someone who may have fallen and broken our leg. What do we need to make sure that we can not only, not only have to protect these patients that are coming in that have these respiratory problems and having the oxygen and the tubing and the things that they might need to help them breathe, but also everybody else that we take care of every day. How do we provide those services and make sure that they have the resources they need? We have learned so much about different technologies and different things that we're going to be able to take from this pandemic and bring it forward. So connecting people, we don't always have families, that are, they may be across the country that aren't here, but now we're utilizing iPads and connecting those patients and their families so they can have this ongoing conversation and keep them informed. Having physicians also use those iPads to have telemedicine and have that opportunity to speak to people at home so they don't have to leave their houses and they can get those resources and have that communication still available. Just even using our resources to expand what we can do, such as using more of a phone, using our nurse phone line to be able to answer questions for people that might just have questions that they might be having symptoms and they're not sure what to do. So we have a nurse call line that we've set up where people can call in and really have that personal connection with somebody to be able to provide them that adv advice they need. These are all things that we've been able to implement with COVID-19 that we were already doing great before, but we're just able to even do better. Thanks so much, thank you. The support from the community has been amazing. It's been so overwhelming and so appreciated. The love that we feel from everybody in the community, from the signs that are posted every morning when we're driving into our facility and the cards that we receive from these children and the food, the food's been so incredible and it's just so well appreciated. We're so used to giving, giving, giving to see the community giving back in this way. It's just so motivating and energizing and helps us get up every day and know that we may be in this for the long run, but we're here to support each other. All of you out there can continue to support us by just continuing that social distancing, the six feet apart, washing your hands 20 seconds, whichever song it is that you sing to yourself, happy birthday, there's lots out there. But just continue doing what you're doing. And just remember, we are here for you. So if you, are, if you have COVID symptoms, we have a nurse line that you can call into to review those symptoms with, and they can give you advice. But if you fall, if you're having chest pain, if you have any other kind of illness, know that we're a safe place and we're here for you and we're, we're ready to take care of you. The one aha moment is our opportunity to really use technology to really connect patients and their families. Patients are coming in alone during this COVID-19 pandemic and they're scared and the families are scared for them because they can't be here at the bedside. They can't see what's going on. So what we can do is bring an iPad to the bedside and not only can we sit at the bedside and hold their hand through it, but now we can show them the iPad and their family can see the patient and the patient can have that connection with the family and you really become that extended person in the room. And it's such an honor to be able to share in that moment and to bring that to the patient.